This is Jimmy Rollins with Team Mizuno, and I'm going to teach you how to catch a proper ground ball. Well, the first thing you want to do before any pitch is to make sure you know where you are in the field, make sure you know who the hitter is. Then you get to your setup. Setups can be different. Myself, I like to put my hands on my knees. It relaxes me. I feel like I can go either way from here. I can look to my second baseman if a guy's on. Ah, open mouth means you got the bag covering. Closed mouth means I have the back covering. So now as the pitcher's getting ready to make a pitch, I like to do what I call a reset. I go from my knees, stand up, get my feet going, get my body ready to make a play. And as the pitch, pitcher gets ready to deliver a pitch, I like to call it right, left, and ready position. Start here. I'm nice and relaxed. I'm not wasting any extra energy. I can look to my second baseman. Pitcher gets ready to make a delivery. I start up. And the ready in a ready position, getting set position, right, left. Now I'm ready to go. Now as that ball is coming into the zone, everything should stop. But you anticipate the ball being hit to you. You may have to go right, you may have to go left, you may have to go back, you may have to come in to get the ball. But on a routine ground ball, as you're ready, right, left, the ball is hit to you. A lot of people like to say, make this somewhat of a C to approach the ball. My approach is all you have to do is get one step outside the ball to get some momentum to go to first base. So as the ball's coming, I'm right, left, contact, I approach. I adjust the speed of the ball, adjust the distance. I'm trying to see the hop of the ball. As the ball gets there, once again, it's right, left. Why right, left? Because I have to throw the ball to my left. I have to throw the ball to first base. And that's how I'm going to get myself in position to make a good, strong throw. Another thing is a lot of people like to say, you know, do the gator, use two hands. Hey, whatever's comfortable for you, you do it. If you're better and you're more comfortable catching the ball with one hand, then you go ahead and do that. But always have your right hand or your throwing hand close enough to, in case the ball pops out, that you can go down and grab it. So, as I'm fielding the ball, right, left, Licking the ball into the glove, you should be able to see the top of my hat as I'm watching the ball go into my glove. One-handed if you want to, two-handed if you want to, whatever most comfortable for you. And as you catch the ball, you want to bring your glove hand up to your throwing side, which for me, I'm right-handed, it's going to be my right shoulder. The reason why, it's going to be quicker for me to pull that ball out, get into a good, strong throwing position to make a strong throw to first base. So. I'm here, pitcher makes delivery, right, left, I'm ready. Contact is made. I get myself just one step outside the ball to catch the ball. I'm here. Ball's in my glove. I come up to my throwing side. Once again, it's right, left. Little shuffle. Everything's right, left. Make a nice, good, strong throw to first. Try to grab the ball with four seams. First baseman in the chest, you'll make him happy all day. And that is how you catch a routine ground ball and make a nice strong throw to first.